Hello and welcome to the blog for the Commonwealth People's Forum. My name is Mark Collins, I'm Director of the Commonwealth Foundation and I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what the Commonwealth uh, People's Forum is all about. Basically every two years there's a meeting of the heads of government of the 53 Commonwealth nations. They come from right around the world, meet together to discuss world affairs. Now at the Commonwealth Foundation, what we know is that we need to draw in opinions and views from people as well as our politicians and our leadership. So in the Commonwealth Foundation, our job is to take into account the views of civil society and civil society organizations that all our citizens belong to in one way or another. Now the Commonwealth People's Forum is the big event that precedes the meeting of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. We bring together civil society activists and experts from right across the Commonwealth to discuss a whole range of topics to do with Commonwealth issues and what worries people about their everyday lives. Now, of course, we recognize that it's not always possible to bring people together from right across the planet. This year we're meeting here in Kampala in Uganda, but, and there'll be many of you here, but for those who can't come along, we'd like you to have an opportunity to join us through this blog in letting us know what your views are. Now let me tell you a little bit about what the Commonwealth People's Forum is focusing on. First of all, the heads of government this time are coming together to discuss the transformation of Commonwealth societies for human, economic and social needs. What does that actually mean? What they're talking about is development. They're talking about how can we take some of our Commonwealth nations that are amongst the poorest nations in the world, how can we take those nations, help them to, to, to develop in a sustainable and, and, and hopefully quick way? What's the best route to do that? The heads of government are going to be discussing all sorts of issues to do with that. But in the Commonwealth People's Forum, we've chosen the title Realising People's Potential. And what we're really saying there is that if you want to transform an economy, if you want to transform a nation, if you want to develop in an appropriate and sustainable way, only people can really do that. What does that mean? You have to have an educated people, educated workforces. There will be workshops at the Commonwealth People's Forum talking about education and the needs in, in education. We need healthy workforces. We need, we need a healthy uh, population. Otherwise, how can you really develop appropriately? There are other things too. For instance, science and technology for development. What can we do to take that forward? So there's a whole host of subject areas in the Commonwealth People's Forum, and you can read about this, of course, on the website. There's a whole host of ideas that people have already put forward. But we want to hear your ideas too. You may not be with us in, here in Kampala, but we want to hear what your opinions are, what your priorities are, what your concerns are. And we hope that you'll be able to join us through this blog and tell us all about the concerns in your particular part of the Commonwealth. So thank you very much indeed for listening to me and I'm really looking forward to hearing from you.